15 is the time right now. The new year marks a new era for racing greyhounds. It's now illegal in our state where the sport first originated. This morning, Nolani Matthews shows us how retired greyhounds are finding a new comfy life at home. Two years after Floridians voted to end legal dog racing, thousands of greyhounds took their final lap to retirement. 11 racetracks were forced to close by the new year, including one located in Bonita Springs. Everybody can celebrate the end of this cruel industry that's plagued Florida for almost 90 years. State Director Kate McFall with the Humane Society spearheaded the efforts to legally stop the racing of greyhounds in Florida. The plan phased out racetracks in 2020 to help adoption agencies with time to relocate. To absorb these dogs and find them loving homes around the country. So the phase out was to allow for that absorption and for a slow phase out, and that's exactly what happened. She says the racing breed is popular, so they go quick. Steve Grabarczyk knows from experience after adopting three over the last several years. You were such a good boy. He says agencies require home inspections and contracts before greyhounds can be approved for a home. So they checked out our whole backyard to make sure it was fenced in and to make sure that the environment was conducive to having a greyhound. Once final checks are approved, he says adjusting your greyhound to a new home can be a process. It can take weeks to feel normal outside their kennel just everyday noises that they don't hear in the kennel. They're in a kennel with maybe 60 to 100 other pack mates. Overall, Steve says the best part about this breed isn't their speed. Um, it's like having three children. It's adding more love to your family and home. They are the most caring, the most sweet dogs that, that I've ever run across. Reporting in Cape Coral, Nolani Matthews, Fox 4.